Pastor Joe here, Holy Spirit Ranch Ministries, for our Sunday message, 12 p.m., Jasper, Georgia, North Georgia Mountains. Thank you all for being here. The title of today's message, Are You a Slave to Independence? That's interesting, right? You're thinking, like, are you a slave to independence? Mm -hmm. um, thank you, everyone, for being here. Welcome, um, friends and family and ministry uh Team players, Philippines, Africa, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, America. Thank you, everyone, for being here um, for these messages, which we've been doing, started in the Philippines during the pandemic when I was kind of uh, locked down in my little town. Uh, oh, a couple years, over a couple years now. Thank you for being here. Um, Father God, I pray that as I speak this word, that we learn something from it, that we that we improve as your children, as children of God, that we could be less about ourselves and more about you and, and serving you and helping others and being a light in this hurting world. I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Um are you a slave to independence? What does that mean? Well, in America, and I know this message goes out to other places. By the way, if you're not a believer, thank you for being here. If you're not a follower of Christ, Christian, and I'm talking about denomination, or if you even go to church or not, but have you given your life to Christ? Have, have you asked Jesus to be your Lord? Jesus says the only way to God, John 14, 6, I am the way, truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. If you haven't given yourself to Christ, I hope you do. But if you haven't yet, thank you for being here and being with us. Are you a slave to independence? America is um, celebrating Independence Day, 4th of July. Uh, old timers, you know, it, it represents the... Uh, America becoming independent in 1970, um, 1976 from Great Britain. It's when the 13 colonies declared independence from Great Britain. The 13 colonies, you know, just a little quick history lesson for people who don't know this. Why America, you know, America is so about freedom and independence, the, the American spirit. And a lot of it has to do with how this nation was created because the colonies you know, were created by people seeking religious freedom. And the 4th of July, Independence Day, which is celebrated this coming uh, tomorrow, celebrates when we became independent from Great Britain and from their rule um, and, and, and religious freedom. And then we had the Civil War, which was about independence and freedom for black people. Um, and then we, in World War One and World War Two, America was uh, instrumental <clears throat> in freedom of people from Nazi Germany, et cetera, et cetera, in, in World War Two, You know, we, America, has become a standard bearer of freedom and democracy throughout the world. We've been an example of that. So today's message, are you a slave to dependence, not about beating up on America or its history, the good and the bad, you know, all great empires, even with greatness, there's great mistakes being made and injustices sometimes. We're not getting into a history lesson or beating up on America because America, because of the kind of country it's been, it has afforded more people, even with its flaws, um, a greater standard of living. Um, and we've also, God has blessed this nation like no others. And God has blessed America and used America to spread the gospel, the good news of Jesus throughout the world. God has used America to save the world. God has used America in mighty, mighty, mighty ways. We are now the 50 states of America and Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, we're the third largest country in the world landmass, 3.7 million square miles with the world's 
largest economy. So because of, you know, America still with a great West, the Western, Western culture, we're still, even the world looks at us a lot like Western movies. We're still the wild West, four wheel drives, big trucks, freedom, freedom to do what we want, freedom to become what we want, opportunity to become from a, a poor background where no one's had an education in the family to becoming um, a CEO of, of a company, it's great success, whatever you want to be. That is, is America, which that's why so many people in the world want to come to America for freedom and independence. So done right, it's a great thing. Today's message, are you a slave to independence? Are we a slave to our freedom? You have to think for a second about that. Are we a slave to our freedom? We've become so independent in our nature. And I, and don't get me wrong, I'm, I don't believe in school systems that don't teach freedom of thought and how to think because many of our schools are not teaching young people how to think. So I'm not knocking independence. But independence can get, being too independent, forgetting about God guiding us, and thinking it all comes from us and I can do it all. You know, the American can-do attitude. You can do. Part of that's really good. But if we take God out of the equation and we think we can do, pride gets in the way. And a problem, a big problem with the Western church is self. Is this freedom and independence, we've taken it to a point where I can do it. I can do anything. And that's an American spirit. Part of that is good if we realize and we rely on God. Proverbs 3, 5, verse 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge Him in all things and He will direct your paths. We have become a people often that have forgotten where this independence comes from and where the freedom comes from. And the freedom actually becomes, we become a slave to it. We become a slave to ourselves, our own thought processes. We depend on ourselves. We're taught, depend on yourself. Yes, taken right, the right way that makes sense. But if you take God out of the equation and you're truly just dependent upon yourself, that's a bad road to go down. And pride enters the equation. God is against the proud. And for the Holy Spirit, as Christians, when the Holy Spirit moves into, to give the Holy Spirit an environment to operate in, he's not going to operate well in a prideful person. You know, when I, uh, I'm going to talk about a family, a relative in the family. Oh, it must be 20 years ago, so a while back. Not too many years, I think it was in the late 90s, year 2000 or so, a few years after I got saved, I was speaking to my brother about someone, uh, about myself, about, about Jesus, and not about myself, about Jesus. And my brother said to me, I was talking to so and so, I'm not going to mention the name, and this person in the family, relative, knew that, you know, knew me since I was young, the drug years, the teenage years, the adult, the 30 year party I was on. And said to my brother, he used to be addicted to drugs. And he laughed, like disrespectfully. He went, well, now he's addicted to Jesus. Hello, Raymond. My brother's name. When we are addicted, when we are a slave to Christ, we obtain freedom. When we walk in total independence in our own might, we become a slave to our
ourselves. And we think we're operating in freedom, but we're not. When we become slaves to Christ, we obtain freedom. When we become slaves to Christ, we become freedom. We obtain freedom from self, from pride, from the dangers of pride, from the pitfalls of pride. We become dependent on God. So slave, being a slave to Christ sounds like an oxymoron, right? But being, being, being a slave to Christ is freedom and independence. Independence from the enemy. When, we, when, we're, when we're a slave to Christ, we depended on God. We, we've, we've depended on God's Holy Spirit to guide us. When we depended on the Holy Spirit to guide us, we have victory against the enemy. Demonic attack in our life, spirits that attack us whether it's disease or depression, confusion, or pride, everything, when the enemy attacks us by us being reliant, reliant, needing God's Holy Spirit, His strength in us to operate, His spirit of, of power and love and a sound mind, we have victory against the enemy instead of failing to the enemy. When we work just on our own, our own independence and freedom, we will experience failure instead of victory against the enemy. Simple message, but are you a slave to independence? I'm going to read a couple of scriptures. You know, Mark um, Mark chapter 10 verse I hope I have it right here, verse 16. Yeah, verse 16. This is Jesus. Verse 13. And I'm going to read from verse 13. One day some parents brought their children to Jesus so he could touch and bless them. But the disciples scolded the parents for bothering him. When Jesus saw what was happening, he was angry with his disciples. And he said to them, let the children come to me. Don't stop them. For the kingdom of God belongs to those who are like these children. I tell you the truth, anyone who doesn't receive the kingdom of God like a child will never enter it. Then he took the children in his arms and placed his hands on their heads and he blessed them. He's not saying you need to be a little child, Gen F. A little child to come into the kingdom. You need to be like a little child. When we ask Jesus into our hearts, we are humbling ourselves to God. We're realizing something's bigger than us. So it takes active humility to even get into the kingdom. Jesus is like a little child. When we are dependent upon God, we become not so independent, but dependent on God. Hello, Gail. Thanks for being here. When we become dependent on God, we obtain, I'm repeating myself, but this is big, we, we obtain freedom from self. Sometimes our worst enemies are self. We're going to go to James chapter 1. Like I said, this came about, I was thinking about Independence Day, God give me a message, and I'm not beating up on America. Oh, Lord, no. It's because of independence and freedom that I can be speaking this message right now without being persecuted. But the American can-do attitude done right is amazing. God has used that attitude to have victory against the enemy all over the world and help many people, not even just spiritually, but also, also help them in so many ways. But we've been losing our way a bit. James chapter 1, verse 5. If you need wisdom, ask our generous God and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. 
But when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in God alone. I'm going to read the rest of the scripture. Do not waver, for a person with divided loyalty is unsettled as a wave by the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. Such people should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Their loyalty is divided between God and the world. <clears throat> Excuse me, and they are unstable, unstable in everything they do. If we ask God for wisdom, he will gladly give it to us. But James is also saying, when we ask, ask with faith, when the Holy Spirit speaks to us, you know, listen and hear, when he speaks to us, obey. Trust. Don't be one foot in, one foot out. That's like a, a wave of the sea being tossed around. And we meet believers like that. That's not that's not a good place to be. Um, James chapter 3, verse 17. But the wisdom from above is first of all pure. It is also peace-loving, gentle at all times and willing to yield to others. It is full of mercy and fruit of good deeds. It shows no favoritism and is always sincere. Those who are peacemakers will plant seeds of peace and reap a harvest of righteousness. So it sounds like the wisdom from God being dependent on God God's wisdom, his power gives us independence from the enemy. But his wisdom is peace-loving. It's not violent. We become a very violent people. I'm not talking about gun control right now. I'm not talking politics in my country here. I'm talking about when you turn on the television... I don't know how much, 80%, you look at what's popular, they show you, here's what you, what you watch, here's what's popular, number one, number ten in the country, and out of ten popular programs, like, probably seven are ex violent, not just cops and robbers, but evil violence, like except really, really just violent, like right from the pits of hell. And this is what we entertain ourselves on. This is what sells, what makes money. Our young little ones are watching um, internet violence and playing games that are demonic and violent at a very young age. This is not independence, the right direction. God's wisdom is peace loving peace producing it's not violent um, Proverbs chapter 3 uh, Proverbs chapter Isaiah sorry Yes, turn to our God, for he will forgive. He's talking to, well, okay, I'm going to go verse 6. Seek the Lord while you can find him. Call on him now while he is near. Let the wicked change their ways and banish the very thought of doing wrong. Let them turn to the Lord that he may have mercy on them. Yes, turn to our God, for he will forgive generously. This is the prophet Isaiah. I mean, this is God speaking to the prophet Isaiah. My thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, says the Lord. And my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways. And my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. And God <clears throat> is generous and eager and willing. When 
we are dependent on him. God is our Father who created us, who made everything, who knows everything. His ways are greater than ours. Our Father is more than willing, when we're dependent on him, to give us his knowledge, his wisdom, his direction, his power to be independent from the world order, to be independent from enemies, to be independent from a, the enemy Satan wants us to do. Independent from the attacks. Free from the attacks. Free from self. So when we are dependent on God, we truly, truly have freedom. When we are slaves to Christ, we achieve true freedom. In the Spirit of Christ, when we allow the Holy Spirit that lives in us as believers, and we let Him change the way we think, we seek Him, his, his will. Because the Holy Spirit that lives in us reveals the secrets of God. And only His Spirit can do that. So, when we're so caught up, don't get me wrong, driving a Jeep or something up in the, looking at a sunset from a mountaintop or a creek is a beautiful thing. And the freedom that America represents to the world, that kind of freedom, and freedom of worship, and, and freedom to vote, and freedom to have the, the opportunity to become what you want to become, is an awesome, awesome blessing. And I'm blessed to have been born into this country. But as I'm saying here, in that freedom, we become slaves our independence because we've forgotten where it comes from and how this government was formed. We've become all about me, me, the freedom to do what me want. We need to turn back to God for our freedom. God gave us our independence and when we are like little children, we come to God as children we will experience freedom like we've never experienced before. The more childlike in our faith, the more, the more dependent on God, the smarter we get. Not the dumber. The smarter we get, the more, free, the more independent we get. I'm going to end right here. Thank you, everyone, for being here for this message. I see the wave. Thank you. God bless you all. Um, I, I pray, Father God, That we embrace and understand what it means to be a slave to Christ. That being a slave to Christ. Being like a child to our Father God. Gives us freedom and independence. I thank you, Father God, for this word in the name of Jesus. And if you don't know who the, our ministry is and where we are, what we do, check us out on Holy Spirit Ranch Ministries. Holy Spirit Ranch Ministries.org, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye.